so much for tuning in. I am so grateful to be back with you for this particular segment because of the fact that I have an unboxing for you again. I love those and I know you do as well. But I want you to know that I am Love of Fragrance to all of my new subscribers. And I thank you so much for tuning in. And without any further information, I'm going to go ahead on and get into this video because like I said, it's an unboxing and it's an unboxing in the Salvatore Ferragoma with that big lovely bow on the top there. And the name of the fragrance happens to be Mrs. Signorina. Signorina. And not only that, look inside of here. The packaging itself happens to be absolutely adorable. Look at there. Absolutely, exquisitely divine. An exceptional package. And the container itself is so lovely. Look at the sitting in there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead on and take this out for you right now without wasting another minute on the observation of the product because we want to get into this fragrance inside of here because I understand it's a very lovely fragrance. I have possessed this for quite some time, but I have never worn it because I have been wearing a great deal of uh, my samples lately. I generally take one of my samples and I utilize them as my fragrance of the day, giving my other fragrances a break, and also in this process of learning exactly what my fragrances smell like by utilizing my samples. And that's another thing I highly recommend to you, that you utilize your samples so that you become more familiar with your fragrance overall so you know exactly every note that's included in your fragrance. And this particular fragrance right here, Miss Signorina by Mr. Salvatore Ferragoma, happens to be one of the most dominant fragrances that I can classify that you would find very appreciative. It falls into a category of its own. It's exceptionally eloquent and I'm bringing it to you today because of the fact that I love it independently myself. I also had another fragrance that I introduced to you by Mr. Salvatore Ferragoma, and it was Mysterioso. It was in a black container, and it's a lovely fragrance, but it's this one here is totally distinguishing from that one outright based overall over the fragrance. In comparison to the two, Mysterioso was a look bit more, I would say, not hard, but a lot more, much stronger, much more projectable, much more dominant. It's a dominant fragrance. So I would look at that one as after hour fragrance, but this one right here comes to you much lighter. It's a much lighter fragrance. So literally I classify this as a warm, ultimately a daytime fragrance. Actually, that's what I categorize this one as being, based on the scent. But before we get into the notes or anything, I want you to understand that this here container happens to be shaped uh, as a rectangle. And by it being a rectangle, I guess that's his his um, go-to thing for his fragrance containers because Mysterioso is in the same container. I haven't reviewed the entire collection, but those two are in the same style of container maybe specifically for this collection. I'll have to check, but I love the shape of the container itself. I think it's packaged absolutely exquisitely. And this fragrance in itself has his name there, Signorina, Mr. Salvatore Ferragoma, right there on the front, so that tells me that's the front. And we have these little, like a lilac, little ribbon right here, and it has a little pink one on the top on both sides, like a little bow that you might find on a little girl's shoe. And here on the very top, you have like a gold, looks like a belt buckle right there and a little round top covering the nozzle itself. Okay, that's a description of the container. Now, let's get into the overall scent to determine whether or not it's an admirable fragrance for you as well as it has to happens to be for me. Like I said, it's for a young lady, but honey, I love young smelling fragrances as well. So let's try this baby on. Honey, 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 you wouldn't believe it, but I literally don't smell any alcohol content in this fragrance. It has a lovely, beautiful, projectable aroma applied to it, but it's light and it's exceptionally airy. So let's just put a little bit more on me here. 
This here is my afternoon fragrance. I've gone through my daytime fragrance. Like I said, I was wearing a sample, but this is my afternoon. So I can put a hint of this on me and, and check out the aroma if it's penetrating effectively on my body. Let's see. Mm. Well, you know what? My description of this fragrance is that Mr. Salvatore Ferragoma states that senorita means young woman. So therefore, this fragrance was specifically designed for a young woman, but not only a young woman, but a modernization young woman that's very exceptionally sophisticated, that loves life and appreciates the finer attributes of life because it classifies it for a chic young woman, a woman that dressed lovely, exquisitely, and loved to smell lovely and exquisite at the same time. It's extremely young and feminine, an exceptionally feminine fragrance that has some very projectable notes in it that leaves it a phenomenal scent on your body that's so elaborately exuberating itself as you wear this particular fragrance, I find it very attractive for myself, literally. And you know what? It has a hint of smell of like lilac in it. It does because the color combination here appears to be like a little lilac. And as I began to give you this description of this fragrance, I smell a hint of lilac projecting itself from this container. But the notes in this particular fragrance predominantly consist of black currant, which has a sweetie, 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 rich scent applied toward it that also grants you a great deal, exceptional amount of transformation into a little bit of citric aroma as well. And it also has an exceptional amount of peonies in here. And these peonies are very lovely and they are also very 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 sweet it gives you the impression that you are floating not walking but just floating through nothing but a spring morning of elaborate ex exquisite bouquet of flowers in a spring garden it's fresh in the morning because the scent itself is exceptionally fresh it's very lovely and entertaining on your body and it's very appreciated appreciative because of the fact that the peonies grants this particular scent an exceptional amount of sweetness that brings out that lilac aroma that I'm projecting here it's like I said it has an exceptional amount of variation of exquisite roses applied to this fragrance as well and also it has an exceptional amount of um, pink pepper. And the pink pepper brings out that exceptional, distinguishing, exquisite citric aroma that we are, that's being projected from here like the peppercorns from a Brazilian island somewhere from the Brazilian country where peppercorn happens to be the standard norm that grants a great deal of spiciness and a little bit of bitterness toward it, but it also makes a transformation from the spices like the notes are beginning to fluctuate. It goes into the black currant, then it transfers into the peppercorns, which happens to be the pink peppers, and then translate into the peonies to distribute an exceptional amount of sweetness and it all comes together to originate such a lovely, exquisite fragrance to wear. I can guarantee all of you young ladies that this here is an eloquent, lovely, sweet, adorable fragrance. And the fragrance itself would be most generally appreciated, I think, for activities throughout your day, such as maybe a brunch, maybe out for an evening occasion, evening, not late, 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 late night occasion, but a bright evening, sunny afternoon occasion. It's a light, delicate floral scent, but not only that, it's a rosy scent, and it's a very, very bouquet of roses scent, which means it's very projectable and very detectable and very 
lovely to wear. So I really highly recommend this here fragrance to you, Mr. Salvatore Ferragoma Signorina, for all of you chic, fragrant, exquisitely sophisticated young women out there. I recommend this fragrance to you. Without any further ado, we're going to go head on over to this here body lotion. Yes, it's definitely a body lotion. I had to check and make sure it wasn't a body gel because, you know, love a fragrance. She's highly into that as well. But this one, it's a body lotion. See, I'm putting it on my body. You wouldn't believe it. It smells identical, identical to the fragrance. Identical. So identical. Look at that. And it's very, very moisturizing for the skin. I love receiving a fragrance with um, a lotion with it because I definitely use my lotions. I am. I'm a lotion person. I love moisturization all the time because my hands are always in and out of water. So therefore, I have to, especially since we are into this here crisis with the virus. I'm not going to even say the word. You know what I'm talking about. And the pandemic and everything. And they, you know, recommending you wash your hands. 50 times a day. <laughs> I think I was doing that already. Anyways, because my hands stay in water, and not only that, I've invested into my hand sanitizer, and that dries your skin out. So, honey, this lotion right here is definitely a highly recommended. Any lotion that you have in your possession, as long as it has a fragrance scent to it like this, I highly recommend that you utilize your lotions, especially with the excessive amount of washing that's been that's re recommended right now for everyone in society. Everyone, wash your hands consistently. And after you wash your hands consistently, invest in a nice lubricating, moisturizing lotion. I don't care if it comes with your fragrance. I don't care where it comes from. Just ensure that you have a, just have one accessible to you. It just so happened that this particular one happened to have come with this particular uh, fragrance. This one has come with this particular fragrance, and to me, it's an excellent lotion that very, that's very lubricant on my hands. As you can see, it looks like I stuck my hands in water, doesn't it? So I highly recommend that you also attain Mr. Salvatore Ferragoma Signorita Lotion as well. And that way, I have introduced you to two products at once today. And it smells absolutely exquisite, but the only thing about the lotion, honey, it's a lot more... Unfortunately, it appears to be accentuating the fragrance overall. I'm not going to say it has more of a fragrance scent, but the combination of them together is definitely accentuating the aroma at all. So I'm very appreciative of attaining both of these here items, not just the fragrance itself. I love both of them. I love the lotion. It's very rich and emollient, and it's very lubricating and moisturizing all at the same time. So I highly recommend these two products to you. And do me a favor, invest in them and appreciate them the way I do. And I thank you so much for tuning in for this segment. And don't forget the name. This is Salvatore Ferragoma Signorina for all you chic chicks out there. All you chic chicks out there. Get this fragrance. You have a nice evening. Thank you. Bye.